real quickly before yep. you go. Um, so, you know, this morning, two more busloads of migrants were dropped off in front of the vice president's house. My phone was here. Well, you've heard My me say uh, throughout this experience My phone April, was on the we have table a problem, before you guys uh, said I was right here in the corner. Response. And uh, we're going to do all that we can in D.C. to make sure that people have a humane uh, welcome and transfer to their final destinations. But uh, we see in the months ahead that this, this problem uh, could worsen. Has it given you a better understanding of what they are dealing with elsewhere in our country? Um, well, I know what we're dealing with, uh, and I'm elected to make sure that D.C. residents have what they need and that our systems can support, um, you know, our needs. And when we have emergencies, we set up, set up an emergency response, and that's what we're doing uh, to, to focus on what's, uh, what's coming our way. Your message to Governor Abbott, who continues to try to hammer his point home? Is that I, for, for me, you know, there's a political debate to be had about immigration. Uh, the points that I want to make is that we have to have a system that makes sense, that's fair, um, and that gives people a pathway to citizenship who are here. And uh, that is something that has to be handled by the Congress and the president. Uh, for mayors like me and that are dealing with a crisis not of our making, and we're not a border town. We don't have an infrastructure uh, to handle uh, this this type of in a level of immigration to our city. But we will we'll create a new normal here in our infrastructure and have a, a humane welcome for people and an efficient um, you know service provision. But we we don't have the ability. We're not Texas. Do you think that the migrants being dropped off here will make the Biden administration see it more clearly since it's where they live too? Oh, I'm pretty sure they understand um, and see the, the situation clearly. Um, but all the, all the lawmakers here and the lawmakers at home in, Tex in their homes in Texas or Arizona, they need to understand that we need a system, an immigration system that's, that works, that's fair at the border, but also is dealing with the millions of people who live here who need a pathway to citizenship. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.